during the time when the French were in Vietnam and before the French came here. And after the Vietnam War ended in 1975, the government also collected people from the city and suggested them to go to the countryside, uh, digging new canal, um, bringing water from the, ma from the big river to those places before there were not many people living. Because, you know, there were uh, not enough water, you know, uh, there were not many canals, you know, for uh, farming. And later on, the government suggested people from the city to go there to live. People living in the countryside, you know, they earn their living by farming. They plant fruit tree, vegetable, rice, and they also uh, breed chicken, duck. They also farm pig, fish, cow, and so on. So where they harvested their products, they have to transport by boat from their farm to the market in the town itself. And most of the markets in the Mekong Delta, uh, they are along the river. To go to visit the Mekong Delta, get, get away from Saigon, probably people stay in Saigon for two days. Two, two or three days, that's quite good enough. And they can uh, travel to the Mekong Delta, like travel to Mito, Ben Che, Kanta, and visit the floating market the second day. They like to learn about the rural life or the Vietnamese people in the countryside, how they work, how they live, you know. When we go to visit the floating market, we uh, try to go around the floating market to, to see how people trade with each other on the boat, you know. The boat also their houseboat. They live on the boat, sleep on the boat, and they stay there for many days. My name's Anh, and I grew up in the Mekong Delta. I started to guide tourists in 1993. Before, there was a lot of small boats, many farmer boats, the raw boat, motorboat, small motorboat. And now you see a lot of big boats. They are businessmen boats. From the end of 1990 to now, you can see people change their way of working. For example, you grow pumpkin, you own a pumpkin field. And I go to visit and we discuss the price. And I pick all your pumpkin from your field. And then transport by my own boat to the floating market itself. Things change a lot in Vietnam. People change their way of working, and our culture also changed a bit. Many young people, Vietnamese, they're also affected a lot by European culture, American culture, and other Asian culture. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, both, good and bad. <laughs> Oh, God.